Yo, what's up everyone? It's Cello C and welcome back to another video. Today's video, we got something a little bit more special. I don't know why, but since the Logan Paul and Mayweather thing been happening, a lot of people been wanting to fight. A lot of people, it seems like this happened every single time. When KSI had fought Logan Paul, everybody just came out the whoop like, I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to fight. It's just like every single person who has some sort of an audience nowadays want to fight now because they see there's a lot of money going into it. The newest one is why be in the mirror and YBN Almighty J. Now, I honestly wouldn't be talking about this because I don't even think YBN is relevant anymore. I think the whole YBN scene is completely down and the only person carrying it was Corday until he dropped the name and now he's no longer associated. And it's just these two guys. And I'm gonna just be frank. I ain't checking out for YBN the mirror, nor am I checking out for YBN Almighty J. After this video, as y'all will see, I might be a fan of Almighty J, but the reason why I'm talking about it is because there's a lot of information that is being spilled out because of this controversy that is happening at the moment. It seems like there's a lot more beef going on between the YBN crew, and this is wild to me. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications because yeah man you need to do that and yeah let's get right into the video so we're gonna go ahead and start out with why being almighty j he released a video on instagram saying pretty much just saying he wanted to box why be in the mirror now nobody really knew why because i thought they were pretty cool outside of almighty j saying that the mirror last album was kind of garbage i thought it was on pretty good standing but it seems like he wanted to fight and i thought this shit was all fake so let's go ahead and look at this you know i ain't never been in the ring ever in my life i want to box bro so listen, somebody make the fight happen between me and Namir. Y'all, y'all, y'all get some contracts put together, man. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a bag off of this shit. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna box, man. I wanna get in the ring with Namir, man. So y'all set this fight up, man. Y'all make the fight happen. So yeah, he wanted to get in the ring with why being almighty, why being Namir, or whatever the case may be. Don't know why. When I first saw this, I thought, okay, this might be actually fucking fake. Because like, why? Like y'all, y'all got the same fucking three letter words in the beginning of y'all name. Why the fuck y'all fighting? Like, who, who, why, why y'all fighting? It don't make no sense to me. So to me, I thought it was kind of fake. But then I saw on Academics page that they went live with each other, and I still went into it thinking it was pretty fake. But this is essentially what happened. Down as soon as I stood I up, Blizzy grabbed me. Sitting down, nigga. I was sitting down, nigga. I be so ass while I was sitting down. Nigga, I got up and put you down, nigga. Bro, so you was sitting down, boy. Are you what serious? Are you, about? you have no idea. Bro, you have no squabble. Please, please put this on your mama, bro. Just put it on your mama, bro. And oh, I'll my believe. mama on Valley Grave. On I love how how when somebody say like put it on your mama and then the other person say put I put it on my mom. The other nigga just go like wow nah I can't believe this shit like he just going a whole frenzy in the background like but I understand where it's coming from like nigga you gonna put that on your mama and honestly to be fair a lot of people be putting shit on their mama bro they be lying like hell like why you putting all that on your mama like that don't make no sense like I swear people be putting on their grand they 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 dad grandmama they be putting on their great granddaddy they be putting on their dead homies they be putting on everything bro and they be dead ass lying to your face no cap Jesus Christ himself. bro what the fuck is you talking about I've been put you down are you are you you for real I'm dead ass what the fuck I gotta lie for hey bro you know I love your mama bro you wrong as fuck for putting that on her bro <laughs> hey, you know, you know, I love your mama. You, you, you fucked up for that. That's the same shit I said. Like, bro, that shit's so fucked up. Like, why you gonna put all that shit on your mama? Your mama ain't got nothing to do with this, bro. Your mama might just fall down dead because you want. Oh, you over there trying to lie, bro. Like, why the fuck you lying? I don't know if you lying, but uh, hey, listen, I'm just putting all my little frustration on all these niggas who be lying on their mama. Like, your mama don't deserve that shit, bro. You, bro, you snuck me all sitting down. I stood up, Lizzie grabbed me, bro. Make it seem good. You don't, bro. You know you don't want to see me with these. You know that. Bro, I've been trying to beat your ass, nigga. Just bro, like I beat your man's name up. I, I just came I had to your man's name running. I just, listen, they I just, can't come back out here. Hey, I just came to your party. I just came to a party December, bro. You nigga, ain't... you left, nigga, because you already knew what time it was, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? You's a bitch, bro. Yeah. So it seems like. Why being the mayor saying that he already beat Almighty J ass, and Almighty J saying, nigga, you cap. He went to YB in the mirror party, from what it seems, and the mirror said that nigga was spooked, and he knew he wasn't supposed to be there, so he left as soon as the mirror told him to leave. That's what it seemed like. I don't know why the mirror got all the aggressive energy. I'm not gonna lie. Almighty J seems hurt, bro. Like this nigga seemed like he just want to fight and get it over with, but he still he still fuck with dude, cause he ain't even he ain't coming on disrespectful or nothing. 
why being the mirror really just coming off super disrespectful and that's pretty much all i i got from that video and then all of a sudden i see something on my page on the explore page of people reacting to why being almighty j pretty much responded to all the claims that namir was saying in his video or in the ig live video but i just had to because i don't want y'all niggas to think i'm tripping I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a rundown from all the way from where this shit started. This is about what? What right, year is it? 2021? This was 2019. So this shit been going on for almost two years. An incident ended up happening and I ended up paying 30000 and I ended up paying ten uh, with the incident that happened. So a couple months go by after the incident or a month or so go by. Me and him ain't talk none of that. A nigga who I'm close with, that we both are close with, was like, hey, Namir said you owe him 10000 That 10000 What? Shraggy? Nah, listen, bro. This sounds like some crazy shit, bro. No cap. I don't know what he's like. It seems like he's not really telling the whole, the whole situation right now. It looks like he kind of leaving some things up in the air. But I don't know why, but I got a strange feeling like, like, why, why does he have to like give money to people? Like, it seems like his, his, his hand is being forced. Like, why is he giving 30,000? Why are they having to split it up? Why did he take the bulk of the split? And it seems like it has something to do with his friends, but also one of the mirror's friends like they both had friends together do some shit that got them in a situation that they had to pay for. I think they, they, it's like some checking stuff. Like, I think they got checked by some real gangsters or something like or maybe they had to like pay or i don't know what the case might be it seems like it seems like they might be getting extorted to us to an extent um to where jay had to pay the money so i did it i i paid the thirty thousand. i don't even think he paid 10 i think evan paid five and he paid five i paid 30 i paid thirty thousand cash bro Thirty thousand dollars cash for shit. I ain't really give a fuck about like, and I did it for him. Like, nigga, I ain't even do it for me. Like, like fuck, I owe him ten thousand for. He like, yeah, I don't think you owe him ten, but shit, he talking about you owe him ten thousand or something. Mind you, my niggas and his niggas was involved in this incident, but he so scared of his homie. He so scared of his homie that he trying to throw it all on like. He, he, he want to believe his homie ain't have no involvement in it. What? Did he just say Namir, the one with the poles? Namir? Scared? What? Are we talking about the Crip himself? No, not Blueface. Namir, bro. He's saying this man is scared of his homie? To the point where he just he just picking sides just cause he don't really want the force from the other side. He don't he don't wanna he don't wanna touch that. He don't wanna feel that. That's wild to me, bro. Almighty J exposing this. He's so scared of his homeboy that he he just he just throwing his homie out the picture. He putting it all on me and my niggas. So I'm telling him, I told him, like whatever, I'm like, hey, yeah, like, like nigga, yo, your boy has something to do with it too. Like, I don't know if you like you scared of him or what? But like your nigga had something to do with it. He 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 had something to do with it. So like nigga, I'm not paying you ten thousand for some shit that my niggas and your niggas had some involvement. Okay, so this is about money, bro. This is about money. Honestly, I think it's kind of weird that every single hip hop group or group, pretty much like every single group, almost ends because of money in some way, shape, or form. Is either disrespect about money someone on money someone not giving the right amount of money some of the greatest groups in the world just go because of money my niggas met my niggas met everything the whole situation from your nigga so your nigga the one that actually started the whole that happened but i came out of my i i, I still went out of my way i paid thirty thousand cash bro for some shit that i didn't give a fuck about bro for him and he um me and him had the same accountant me and him had the same accountant at this time so I end up firing her for this just for this reason right here, cause I ain't like this shit. So me and him had the same accountant. I end up getting like a big ass check from um I signed a pub deal with Ultram. I end up getting a big ass check. So when the check came, it's a I'm, it's a big ass check when the check came. She like, oh yeah, um I just told Namir you got a check and he said you owe him ten thousand, so I'ma send it out your account and send it to him. Nigga, I said no, I don't owe him ten thousand, and on two you fired just for even like that. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, he 
said number one. I don't owe that. I don't owe that nigga nothing. <laughs> number two, your ass foul. <laughs> I'm dead. What kind of shit is that? So that go by, that go by. Now it's a year later. I still ain't talked to him, whatever, whatever, whatever. It was fake shit going on. Like, it was fake shit because we got mutual friends. Mind you, we got mutual friends. So any of the friends, like, who he see fucking with me, he'll stop fucking with them. And they'll come run to me and be like, yeah, like, bro, cut me off because I fuck with you. And I'll be like, I, I be asking them, like, is it real beef between me and him or, like, I'm, I don't know. And that's how that industry stuff works. Like, and even though, like, this is some nigga shit, like, niggas not fucking with each other and shit, but this is how, like, the industry stuff works. This is why I don't really like Nicki Minaj. Because, like, in the industry, when you have beef with a person or some person have a huge disdain against you, bro, they will tell people to literally not work with you. Stop in your bag. Stop in all types of situations because they got a personal gripe with you for some reason. And this is how that shit started, bro. Like this, this is like this is it. Like I don't, I don't know if it's real beef between me and him or not. I'm like, and I always say, bro, like I'm not finna beef with this nigga. Like, well, I look like beef with him. Like I fuck with bro. Like nigga, I wouldn't be like in the position I'm in without bro. Not gonna lie, he is not telling. No fib right now. I don't even think I would know who Almighty J is. I don't. I really don't. I haven't heard a song about a dude ever but i just know his name because he's a part of the trio you know what i'm saying or a part of the duo now but that's the only reason why i know him so he ain't no lie what you talking about so like no i'm not finna finna be for this nigga like nigga i got love for this nigga so every time like even when like interviews come and shit and, and i be vouching like yeah i fuck with bro like that's that's my that's my dog like that's what i be saying and shit so kept under the rug mind you bro end up i i don't know the nigga end up running off and joining and i don't i don't know they end up he ran off with some other niggas and he ran off with some other it sounds like he trying not to say what what it is but maybe in the mirror when he really became crip like he really went on and became like on some crip shit like he done started rocking with some new niggas and he think he a whole gangster out here like he on that fucking <laughs> he on that og low shit from san andreas bro that nigga really trying to be popping by being a gangster even though he not gangster at all that's crazy i'll be seeing the shit that he do online so he ended up running off doing that and and I just was seeing that shit, and I'm like, bro, that shit corny. Like, nigga, I ain't even trying to be around nothing like that. Like, that shit corny as fuck to me. We got the same managers and everything at the time we did. And, like, them niggas would be like, yeah, I don't know what got in it, bro. He tripping. He tripping. Like, he tripping on everybody. Even his mama. Like, nigga, I still was having conversations with his mama. And she would even tell me, like, he tripping. Like, I don't know what got into him. Like, his, even his Niggas was texting like, um, niggas had texted me like, yeah, we set up a surprise birthday party for Namir. Pop out. Mind you, I haven't seen him in a year and a half, bro. Or damn near a year at this time. I haven't seen him in a whole year. I ain't talked to him. I ain't did nothing like that. So I'm like, all right, man, I'm going to pull, pull up. I'm going to fuck with him. So I pull up. I get to the party and shit like 20, 30 minutes before he get there. Mind you, I come by myself. So I pull up. I see our old manager, Ace. Nigga, I see everybody there. Like, I dab everybody up. Like, what's up? Like, say what's up to everybody. So, he ain't there yet. Uh, I seen Glizzy. I seen everybody was there. Like, nigga, like, he ended up showing up. So, he showed up. He seen me. I seen him. He walked up to me. He shook my hand. I shook his. So, when he went live with me, it just said, oh, you came to my party and I went in the other room, and it was about to be that, and niggas calmed me down, and niggas told you to leave. Bro, nobody told me to leave your party, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? Who told me to leave your party? Nobody told me to leave your party. I got tired, and I got bored, and I left. I'm like, man. So, Almighty J essentially saying right now that the mere fake in the front like this man really just like had a whole temper tantrum on his own on some on some napoleon dynamite shit you know what i'm saying like on some on some small people shit and went in his room and said i'm gonna calm down instead of just like hitting this nigga if he was so gangster like just just like fucking this nigga up for even being at your party and knowing that y'all got beef he went in his room calmed down and supposedly sent niggas to tell him to leave but the nigga just left on his own that's crazy he faking the phone crazy Fuck, i'm about to go like nigga i got bored left nigga ain't nobody tell me to leave nothing so all this fake ass gangster shit that you doing bro on the internet bro i don't know where that shit came from you not like that bro you went live and said you pop niggas you don't pop niggas you went live and said you whoop niggas you don't whoop niggas 
Damn. He went live and said, niggas know how you get down. Nobody know how you get down. <laughs> why is he exposing this man like this? Like, what? It, why is why is he coming at man like this? Like, yo, he he over here like destroying this man whole mantra right now. Like, this man is just like taking them down step by step. Like, who gave YB Almighty J all this YouTube status of just being a super great? dramatic youtube storyteller like this this is perfectly perfectly scoped out like this nigga is really just putting the emphasis where they need to be done like i am fucking dead bro i'm fucking what dead. the fuck is you talking about and, and, and me and you personally bro like look look at me bro like look at my face bro see i wasn't even gonna make this video like i i, I wasn't even gonna Take it that far. Like, the reason why I end up posting the video, like, man, fuck it, set the boxing match up between me and our marriage is because, for the fact, everybody kept asking, like, what's up with you and bro? Like, why well, I never see y'all together? Y'all niggas think we cool, but we not. Like, we not cool. Like, he feels the type of way about me, and I feel the type of way about him. And I know, like, niggas getting to it all the time, like, brothers and shit getting to it all the time, and shit get squashed and shit. But, like, nigga... This incident was something that could not be resolved. Like, nigga, I went out of my way. That's crazy, bro. But that's exactly what's been going on with the whole YBN crew, bro. Like, and it's crazy how all this shit is unfolding. Because I thought it was really, like, just cool, like he said. Like, I didn't think that, like, it was split up like that. But it's been split up a long time. Two years. That's I think that's even way before Corday left. Corday left. So, I think that they've been having some problems for a really long time, man. I hope they able to patch it up, you know, maybe shoot the fade, you know, get over with it. But I think the mirror is going through a little crisis right now. He don't, I don't think he knows himself. It's probably the reason why his music is trash. I don't know, but this nigga need to get himself together, bro. And he needs to start by mending these relationships because this is wild. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.